I always wanted to be a painter. You know, I left school at 16 with nothing but a cardboard folder of drawings and paintings. Three years later, I became an actor. Hi, I'm Piers Brosnan, and these are 10 essentials in my life. Sunglasses. These are all of a people's, an elegant design. They sit well on the face, strong lens, look cool. And it's kind of classic Italian movie style look. But not only that, they're great lenses. Robert Mark is another great sunglass maker. Parasol. Those three makes of sunglass are very, very cool. When I came out to LA in 82, I'd do Remington Steel. I used to go down to Melrose. LA iWorks, and you could pick up Parasol, 80 bucks, 80 bucks. Really great ones. They're now 500, 600 bucks. The sunglasses have always fascinated me, and I think we're all seduced by sunglasses. Watches, I love watches. I love watches. This watch is Gerard Perigo. He used to be with Patek Philippe and then created his own line. My wife, Kelly has bought me some beautiful watches, Blancpain and Cartier, Tag Heuer, I've loved. But watches have always been part of my life. I bought this when I was in New York doing Laws of Attraction with Julianne Moore. I bought it, I came out of the store, my knees were shaking. How much money I just dropped. Panerai is another great watch that I love. I bought one when I was doing After the Sunset with Woody Harrelson and Selma Hayek. The watch that I wear in Black Adam, Mont Blanc, which my wife Keely bought for me. I wear that in the movie and I wear my own wedding ring in the movie, playing Dr. Fate. Aldous Hodge, who plays Hawkman, he's into horology, makes his own watches. So we hit the ground running when we first met in making Black Adam. Of course, James Bond watch, Omega. Beautiful timepieces, strong. I have a number of those. I wear it to, to keep time, and I wear it for the beauty of the timepiece. Yeah, I just love watches. Birkenstocks, Birkenstocks, yes. I travel with them. These are such a great shoe, it's comfortable. I've had many pairs over the years. Never thought I was gonna end up cherishing and loving Birkenstocks as much as I do, but I live out on the island of Kauai, live on the beaches of Malibu. Very blessed, very lucky to be able to have that kind of lifestyle, but all comes from work, you know. Nothing comes from nothing. Sketching pencils, colored pencils, drawing is an essential part of my life as an actor. As an artist, I travel with pencils, colored pencils, good pens. Always wanted to be a painter. You know, I left school at 16 with nothing but a cardboard folder of drawings and paintings. Three years later, I became an actor. My scripts have uh, drawings in which become paintings. You know, so when I did Black Adam, there's a series of helmets. When I did Cinderella, there's a series of drawings of kings. The practice of drawing and painting has become more enriching as I've gone on. So hopefully, end of this year, next year, I'll have an exhibit. Just art, painting, essential. Another way to ease the anxiety of life, to assuage whatever's going on in your head. These are beads, it's a mala I have traveled with now for a good 15 years. It was given to me by the medium to the oracle. I went to Dharamsala to meet with His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. I was there for seven days. I met a number of ministers and children in the schools. I had rented a small plane to get there. When we were coming back after seven days, I was asked if I could give this particular monk a lift on the plane. Anyway, we got on the plane and it was terrible turbulence. It was just really, I thought we were gonna die. I thought this is it. Small plane going over the mountains. He put his hand in the bag and he put these on my neck. So they're my traveling beads, along with a <laughs> set of rosary beads. Been a good Catholic boy. These are from Notre Dame. A Little bit of Catholicism and Buddhism. You know, 
has some meaning in life. Beads, traveling beads. These are woven slippers. They're extremely comfortable, long lasting, and I have an array of them. They make them for me as well now in blue suede. There's a more closer knit weave. I can't believe I'm talking about slippers. I cannot believe it, but there you go. Anything for an easy life. Again, Keely, my wife, she turned me on to these shoes. Swiss made, they are just heavenly shoes. I live in them. There's a pair that I've had. I've worn these in the last two movies. They work. They know my feet. They know the way home. I have been known to jog, yes. They're really comfortable. They breathe well. It's a great shoe. And I think we all know them. We see them around now. Swiss, Swiss made. Great belts. It started with the Tega Veneta belt, and then came the slippers. These are just extremely well-made belts that age with a real beauty of time and memory. It's just my go-to belt, and I have quite a few of them, and they still fit, just about. <laughs> Don Ramon. This is a company out of Mexico who came to me I don't know, four years ago now with the idea of being a spokesman for tequila. I tasted it, I liked it, I liked the people who were making it, the whole philosophy of it. It's a really good drink. It's a very good one at the end of the day. Why tequila as opposed to uh, any other? I do like tequila, having made a movie like The Matador and being introduced to tequila in a very strong way all those years ago, kind of stayed with me. And the people that I was working with were very pleasant to deal with. So why not? Ba, 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 ba. Bose headphones are exceptional headphones. And again, I travel so much when I get on the plane. These go on the straight away. I've bought so many of these and somehow they disappear in the house. Don't know why, but I do have young sons, young men folk. I listen to audiobooks. I, I listen to it uh, sometimes when I paint, especially if there's a distraction in the house or outside the studio, like chickens. Living out on the island, there's lots of chickens. When Hurricane Aniki came in, they all scattered. So literally, we have wild chickens, and we have many generations of chickens that we feed. They're not pets, but they know us. OK, well, there you go. Thank you for watching. This is me, Pierce Brosnan. 10 essential things that I like in life, that have got me through life, that I go to for comfort, solace, and the beauty of life. Aloha. <laughs>